We do have breaking details here. We can tell you that they have found a arm bone in a fire pit behind the home here just south of Claremont on this acreage where the shavers shared. Lori and Michael Shaver. We want to go to Chopper 2 and show you an aerial of exactly what's going on as investigators are securing that scene. They had been searching all day, searching areas where cadaver dogs had indicated there might be something there. Areas where ground penetrating radar indicated there might be something there. A couple of areas were searched with nothing to be found. Then all of a sudden in the fire pit, as investigators were looking for evidence, they did find something and a neighbor witnessed their reaction to that and she spoke with us just moments ago. They had been digging in another area for a little while and then they've come up to the fire pit. Um, they removed all the cement. There was a, a lot of cement actually. And then they dug a little deeper by hand and then um, they kind of stopped all of a sudden and backed up and then everyone celebrated. And of course, by that being satisfaction, they've been looking for evidence and now they believe they have found evidence into what might have happened to Michael Shaver. It's important to point out that Michael Shaver is still officially a missing person. Even though they have found human remains here, they can't do, really do anything as far as solving this missing persons case until they do a lot more work. And that work will continue into tomorrow. But we did speak with Lieutenant John Harrell about what this find means to this missing persons investigation. Obviously, we're mindful of the fact that he's been missing, hasn't been seen for almost three years, and here human remains apparently have been found here at the location. So obviously, we will be working with the medical examiner's office to get the identity confirmed. Okay. And of course, the medical examiner just showed up here after this human arm bone was found in the fire pit behind the Shaver home. We asked whether or not uh, they know where Michael Shaver's wife might be. She was here at the scene earlier, sitting in her truck, not wishing to speak with us, referring us to her attorney. Her attorney, I should point out, said that she is cooperating in this investigation and she had nothing to do with her husband's disappearance. But again, they are going to secure the scene tonight, the Lake County Sheriff's Office. They have been searching in, in a great way for Michael Shaver for the last three weeks, reported missing just three weeks ago, even though they say all the financial records from Michael Shaver vanished off the grid in October 2015. They will be back to the scene tomorrow morning to continue the search to find more remains and then work to make that positive identification. Reporting live in Lake County, Dave McDaniel, West 2 News. Breaking news from.